So, epitope. Epitope is actually uh, a part of antigen molecule to which immune response occur. Or it is simply that part of antigen, that part of antigen which elector, which stimulate the immune response. Here you can see this hole is antigen and this part of antigen which activate the immune system or the immune system will react to this part of antigen this is called epitope okay it can also be called antigenic determinant why it is called antigenic determinant because you can see this is the specific antigenic site okay this is the specific antigenic antigenic site of this whole antigen okay to which uh, to which the immune response will occur or which can activate the immune response okay so this is called epitope now the antibody which is going to react to this antigen or which is going to attach with this antigen and which to which part of the antigen the antibodies will attach so this is the epitope okay with this epitope, the antibody is going to attach. Now, size of the epitope. Like, as we already say, that most common antigen are protein in nature. And then, secondly, we are doing having polysaccharide or sugar, or you can also call carbohydrate. So, if the, uh, if the antigen is in protein, then the amino uh, then the amino acid as proteins form from the amino acid so if the antigen is protein in nature then uh, the epitope is going to be consisting of five to seven amino acid or simply you can say five five amino acid okay and for polysaccharide just as the polysaccharide is from sugar so are it is a carbohydrate if the uh, antigen is polysaccharide then you can say uh, it will be consisting of five to seven sugar or you can simply say five okay five sugar now the antigen is going to be uh, there will be different toy type of antigen on the base of epitope on the base of epitope there is going to be uh, a different uh, uh, a different antigen okay like here you can see we are we, we may be having monovalent antigen uh, bivalent antigen and multivalent antigen so mono means one valent antigen valent means that simply it will be consisting of one epitope bivalent antigen which will be consisting of two epitope multivalent antigen which will be having more than two epitope this whole is antigen here you see this is having one epitope here this is having two epitope and here you can see they are having more than two epitope so this is called multivalent antigen okay so here you can also uh, during the classification of antigen you can also say that uh, we can classify antigen on the base of epitope like if, if it having one epitope that is going to call monovalent if it is having two that is called uh, bivalent and if it is have more than two that is going to be called multivalent now paratope you can see here paratope that portion of antibody which bind with epitope is going to call that's going to call paratope okay so paratope is what that portion of that portion of antibody which is going to bind with epitope that is called paratope now this is whole is antigen here this part of the antigen is called epitope and here you can see okay you can see now this hole is antibody now this portion of the antibody which is going to attach with epitope that is going to be called paratope okay paratope now another one is agri agri fort that portion of the uh, that portion of the process antigen which is attached with mhc molecule okay which is attached with mhc molecule now this is mhc molecule that portion of anti uh, that portion of antigen that portion of processed antigen which is attached with mhc molecule that is called agritope that portion of antigen okay that portion of antigen which 
activate the immune response is going to be called epitope. Now, what are ferratope? That portion of antibody which attached with epitope is called ferratope. Now here you can see this is this hole is antibody. Now this portion of the antibody which attached with epitope is going to be called ferratope. Okay. And here, here you can see a very simple diagram. This hole is antigen. Now this part of antigen which uh, which is going to be attached with the antibody or which is going to activate the immune response is going to be called epitope. Now here you can see this hole is antibody. Now that part of the antibody which is going to be attached with epitope that is called paratope. So you have to remember epitope is a part of antigen, paratope is a part of antibody.